in this video we will be designing a very beautiful logo a monogram logo actually js so i want you to stick and watch how we're gonna do this from start to finish so make sure you stick to the end of this video all right also if this is for your first time and you've not subscribed please i want you to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you can get notified whenever i drop new videos like this also i'd like you to share this video to your friends if you find it helpful at the end of the day without much ado we're going to proceed as usual we're going to delete this default text box and go over to set our image size to the youtube thumbnail great then quickly we import the shape we want to use for this design and this is the shape click ok i'm going to rotate to 90 degree increase the height a bit and also the width over there now i'm going to give it a black color color black beautiful i go over and import another shape something like this i drag it over here i click ok i come here to match the two of them together i click ok to confirm merging great I go back, scroll down to erase color, click on it and increase the tolerance to 70, click OK. I'm going to go up and copy it, then I click on the original, using relative position, I'm going to center it, I click on the copy and repeat same process, then I go over and match the two. Beautiful. Great, we have something like this. So we want to start our design. I'm gonna start our design properly to create the JS monogram. So I'm gonna give this a white color. Okay, then I go over to shape. I import a shape like this, something like this. I'm gonna give this a black color. Black color, great. So I'm gonna have something like this. Are we there? I go up a bit. I copy this over here and click on this. I copy. I rotate. I bring this over here. I rotate again. I bring this over here. Okay. I copy again. I rotate. I rotate. I rotate a bit. I use position to drag it. We have something like this. Yeah, we have something like this. Good. Then I'm going to copy this again. I bring this one, rotate to 90 degree, and I drag it over here, out there. So I want to remove this touch of white that I'm seeing. I drag this a bit, click on this and drag it up a bit. I think we're good. I'm going to click on this one and copy again. I'll bring it over here. I click on it and copy again. I bring this over here. So I'm just going to adjust this a bit. Adjust this a bit too. Then I'm going to copy this. I rotate 90 degree. I will bring it over here. Then I'm gonna copy it, reduce the width, go and add it another color white. I drag this, I bring it over here. Then I'm gonna copy this white one and drag it just below this black line here. Are we there? beautiful so I am going to click on this and send it to front click on this white one and send it to front so this I'm gonna drag this this way to hit this place so we can form our S shape so we can form our S shape I drag a bit good good so we have our S shape formed already you may not see it now but you're gonna see it pretty soon so just watch out stick around and watch out carefully now as i'm gonna form the last the, the last um uh, letter which is the j i formed the s shape already you're gonna see it it's gonna become clearer very soon 
so I will click on this and copy sorry I'm gonna increase this and give it a white color let me give it a white color first of all it should have a white color I rotate I bring here I click OK I copy this I keep this one this way reduce the height a bit and I keep this one here so I'm gonna just copy this one and adjust it down with a little bit I click OK I click OK and I think we are done we are done creating our shape our JS so I'm going to go over to here to import another shape something like this so I will drag I will drag it over here click OK copy I will drag this rotate after rotating I'll drag it and bring it over here copy I will rotate this and bring it somewhere here are we there then copy I will rotate this and bring it somewhere somewhere here then I'm gonna copy I will rotate it and bring it somewhere here there so I click on this to adjust to make to have a, a very smooth cut a very smooth cut then I'm gonna click on this and copy it I'm gonna rotate and drag it here increase the width a bit come over here I have something like this can you see now our JS shape is now very visible very visible we are not quite done so I'm just gonna go over to this place to you know merge all the shapes together I'm gonna merge all the shapes together now so I have to call highlight all of them click on this and confirm merging beautiful I go over to erase color click on it enable erase color and I draw the tolerance to 70 great we have our shape js i will go up and copy it come over here and match the two together the original and the copy all right good we have our js shape we have it here so i'm gonna maybe add some touches like say i add another shape here at the top I could add another shape at the top something like this give it a black color yeah I bring it down a bit I copy it and bring this over here and drag it down you have something like this okay we have something that looks like this beautiful so I'm gonna go over and merge the three shapes together we have something like this so I'm just gonna go to texture to add the color to it but i'm going to use texture so i'm going to click on texture beautiful we have a texture on our logo our monogram logo so i'm going to go down to texture to enable it and drag to shoot our taste now the next thing i'm going to do is to add a name to this logo so the next thing i'm going to do is to add a name to this logo and the name i'm going to give this is just js js I'm gonna increase the font go down to font style and look for a suitable font style for this I'm gonna be using Roboto 
Roboto Bold. For this design, Roboto Bold, I click OK. I could decide to add another bold effect. Then I'm going to go over to Texture to add Texture, like we did to the Monogram logo or to the logo mark. I click on Texture, it takes beautiful. The, the Texture is on the logo, on the name rather. So I'm going to enable it and drag this to suit my personal taste. I said OK. So the next thing we are going to do is to add a background to this to make you appreciate this design the more. We're going to give it a background that will contrast very well with the color of this design. So I'm going to go over to this plus sign and then to my gallery. Beautiful, here we have our background. So I'm going to drag it to fill this canvas and I will quickly send it to back. Beautiful, beautiful. And we are done. We can decide to leave our logo this way. Uh, in a plain version, we can also decide to add some 3D and shadow effect to beautify it more. But this is our logo we are done. I want to add another name to this but before then let me quickly add some 3d effects so you can appreciate it still the more i want to add 3d so i enable this i go to depth and put it at five to color for a hundred i rotate this around 19 should do then the z rotation i'm gonna make it to be around 14 14 I drag it over here then I go to the text which is the name of the logo so I come to 3d text I make it to appear 5 the color to 100 exhortation around 12 I will say 8 then Z rotation something around 15 should do yep 15 should do then i'm gonna go and copy this and put the design because the name of our logo is js logo design so to make design i click ok then i'm gonna reduce the size of this design then I'm going to go over to letter spacing and I'm going to space it. I'm going to space it. Go to size and add some size. Then go over to this and increase it a little bit more. So we have something like this. I think we are done we are done the next thing is to quickly go over to save as image then remember to save in ultra quality it renders after a while 